Hey everybody, it's day 10 of No Not November. It's Wednesday, November 10th. Congratulations to everyone that's still in this journey of No Not November. Apologies for my delay in making this video. I've been making a video every morning for the last few days, but this morning I had a lot of work to do and I had to get right to work to get work done. So it is around noon right now. Had a break from work to be able to make this video. I also have quite a bit I want to talk about in this video for some tips and tricks for semen retention and avoiding pornography. So I wanted to have a good time slot to be able to put some time into this video and the conversation around it. Wanted to start off with the update on how I'm feeling. Feeling very similar to the last couple days. The feeling tends to not change too much once you're past that seven to 10 days of semen retention. Feel very at peace, not too many temptations. The energy is flowing through my body. I feel like myself and how I should really feel and just feel in a good state of mind. So the tips I wanted to give you on this video are tips on how to stop watching porn. I made a previous video a few months back titled Stop Watching Porn. Definitely go watch that video. It has a lot more granularity about the negative effects of pornography, but hopefully uh, everyone knows how negative pornography is. It's definitely the epidemic of the modern male. It's estimated that one third of men are addicted to pornography. That's just men that admit to being addicted publicly. I'm sure there's many more men that are actually addicted or in denial about it. I would estimate that definitely over half of men are addicted to pornography, especially under the age of 30. It's really crazy that how accessible pornography is now to young kids. I was just watching yesterday, somebody called in to the Dr. John Delaney show, and that's a very uh, faith-based organization. And this uh, parent that called in was actually uh, inherited the kids because those parents were heroin addicts and inherited the kids, but they had very disciplined um, environment in their household. And his 12-year-old son well, he caught him watching pornography. So that's in a very disciplined household. Just think a household that's not disciplined at all, how young these kids are starting to watch pornography and the images that they're watching. It's just way too accessible to be able to access it right on your smartphone. And the negative effects it has on men and women is horrific. One of the big negative effects of watching pornography is that it uh, really decreases your dopamine levels and the dopamine effects of watching pornography for a porn addict is very similar to that of a cocaine addict or heroin addict. So they've done tests of men watching porn that are porn addicts and what, where their brain lights up and it's very similar to drug addicts. So that just shows you know how bad compulsively watching pornography is. And another thing is that a lot of men that have been watching pornography for, you know, 10, 15 years, they're reporting erectile dysfunction in their 20s and 30s. Many men that are watching pornography, you know, on a daily basis, maybe multiple times a day. And what that does is it desensitizes your brain to these sexual images and videos. So at first they might start just watching normal sexual porn videos and then they keep getting into more and more grotesque content in order to get them excited or whatever the case may be. And then when they get into a situation with a real woman, they're having erectile dysfunction because they're so used to masturbating multiple times a day to very graphic, grotesque pornography. So there's so many negative aspects of watching porn and a big thing of semen retention for 30 days is it will help knock those habits that you have of watching pornography and help to get rid of your pornography addiction. 
So I have three tips today in this video for how to quit watching porn. You know, semen retention is the big thing that will help you, but you have to put up barriers, especially if you are addicted to watching porn. The first thing is, I'm assuming many men probably watch pornography off their cell phone. Now that it's so accessible, you can just go right onto Safari and access uh, pornography sites. So what you want to do is clear your search history, completely clear it, go into your settings, clear your search history so that when you go into Safari, it doesn't show any past searches. This helps for when you go into Safari, and you're typing in something and it shows your past search hi history of pornography and you get tempted to go to that. But if you always have your search history cleared, it won't show those past sites. The second tip is to, uh, if you're having difficulty, you know, avoiding typing in these pornographic sites, download a porn content blocker. It's an app that will block you from typing in any pornography sites and it won't allow you to. So download that app and then keep that app on your phone. When you're addicted to pornography, you really need to treat, treat it as if you're monitoring your behavior, like somebody is monitoring your phone and not letting you type in these sites. So download that blocker app and it won't allow you to type in the sites. The third tip that's very important is to get an accountability partner. So a close friend, maybe you both are on the NoFap journey, have an accountability partner and check in with each other on a daily basis, just making sure that they're staying committed to not watching pornography, not masturbating, etc. So those are my three tips that I have in this video for how to stop watching porn. Hopefully they're helpful to you. Like I said, this is day 10 of No Nut November. I'm feeling great. I've done 30 day plus semen retention in the past, so I'm confident I'll be able to go the full 30 days or more, I'm actually three or four days ahead of the 10 days, so I'm at like day 14 or something. But it's a great journey. I'm documenting this, as I said in my day one video, to continue to hold myself accountable and also inspire others to go on the same journey of 30 plus days of semen retention. You'll see amazing benefits. I'm very busy with work this week. And what I've decided is my next update video for No Nut November is going to be either Friday afternoon after work or Saturday morning, just because I need to have intense gazelle-like focus on the rest of my work week. And then I'll have other update videos on November 12th and past then. So I really appreciate y'all for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.